All right, folks, how are you doing? So just wanted to make a video demonstrating what happens when you piss off a greater narcissist or you come under the sights of a greater narcissist and how they will go after you because believe it or not, Clint Eastwood is a greater narcissist, which came as a big surprise to me because I've always been a, a big Clint Eastwood fan, but well, having downloaded HG Tudor's materials, he makes the claim that uh, Mr. Eastwood is actually a greater narcissist. And I believe him, because he's proven to be right about everything else. But this particular clip from one of the Dirty Harry movies, I forget which one exactly it is, but this shows what happens when a greater narcissist wants to take you down. Do you have your invitation, sir? Oh, I don't understand. Inspector Callahan? Do you know the emergency phone number for San Francisco General? Yes, I do. Well, why don't you uh, call him right now and have him send down an ambulance? Tell him there's two sorry-looking assholes here with multiple contusions and various abrasions and broken bones. Inspector Callahan. Now that demonstrates one of the um, outstanding qualities of the greater narcissist, and that is the complete absence of fear. They are completely confident in who they are and in their abilities, and... If they believe that they can kick your ass, I would take them at their word. Because if you've watched the Dirty Harry movies, you know he's pretty good in combat. <laughs> he's taken on multiple opponents before and absolutely slaughtered them. So this is no idle boast. I want to talk to Thrillkid. Both physically and with and otherwise. At his granddaughter's wedding? On what business? I want to help him catch the bouquet. This is a sign of a narcissist, you know, lack of boundary recognition, sense of entitlement, you know, just barging in like you own the place. This is something a narcissist would do. I have harassment laws, Inspector. Oh, sit down. Well, please. Champagne, it's, it's important. Now, notice here, this is like a hawk looking down on a field mouse, because that's exactly what is happening. You know, men like wine should grow finer, more civilized. They should mellow, become more worldly. Now, be very careful what you say to a narcissist, because they will find a way to turn your words around on you. That's one of the things they're very, very good at. But not Callahan. Callahan is the one constant in an ever-changing universe. Yeah, because he's a greater narcissist. Well, Clint Eastwood is. I don't know if the character Callahan could be called a greater narcissist, but, you know, you get my point, for all intents and purposes. Linda Doker. She was fished out of the bay a month ago, with her breast slashed, her feet burned, face smashed to a pulp. I read about it. A, a hooker, wasn't she? Very expensive one. In fact, her specialty was making old scumbags mellow and worldly. See what I mean? They will turn your words around on you very effectively. And the greater narcissist is like the Terminator, except he doesn't need a fancy arsenal or machine guns or shotguns. His words alone will cut you down. I think she had a special customer who told her a lot of things. You are a fool, Callahan. She might have been clever enough to write these things down. Maybe she made a copy of them. Maybe she didn't even tell about it when she was being tortured and beaten. I wonder what that old scumbag's bosses are going to say when they find out about it. Or maybe his family. Maybe his ass is in a ringer. Now that's the thing about the greater narcissist. When you get on the wrong side of them, or when you become their prey, they will basically take you out via public execution. They will do it as publicly as possible. So this is a very strategic, thought-out move by Callahan. He wanted to nail this guy in the most humiliating way possible, in the most public forum possible, in the way that would cause the most maximum amount of damage possible. <laughs> This is basically a public execution, literally and metaphorically. You fuck, fuck. 
And look at that look on his face. No remorse, no emotional empathy, because he's a greater narcissist. You know? Just thinks, well, that was my prey and I nailed him. <laughs> the greater narcissist has about his remorse as the hawk catching the field mouse. None at all. Because make no mistake about your position in that dynamic, you're the fucking field mouse. Notice that little smug look on his face? See it? Yeah, he's performed his coup de gras. Sorry, Inspector, but Captain the Big What happened? And when they try to stop him, he just walks right past them. Somebody grabbed their chest. They must have seen the bill. And here you find out it was all bullshit. <laughs> he performed this public execution based on a complete bluff. But that's what happens when you get on the wrong side of the greater narcissist. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.